Since his resignation in 2013, Pope Emeritus Benedict has rarely left his monastery. In his farewell address, he promised to stay hidden from the world, but the former pope has broken his silence with a rare essay addressing the sex abuse crisis. Benedict writing, quote, the matter begins with the state prescribed and supported introduction of children and youth into the nature of sexuality. The 11-page analysis published today in a German magazine for priests highlights what Benedict says is the root of the scandal, the sexual revolution of the 1960s, and a post-Vatican II collapse in Catholic moral theology. Benedict writing, Catholic moral theology suffered a collapse that rendered the church defenseless against these changes in society. John Allen, the editor of Crux, notes there is a common thread between these two reflections from the nearly 92-year-old leader. In his mind, what they have in common, basically, uh, is an abandonment of traditional morality, the idea that there is such a thing as absolute good and absolute evil. The remedy, in his mind, therefore, is ultimately is a recovery of faith. Many believe the document is an acknowledgment that Benedict realizes he has a role to play in helping the Catholic Church come to terms with the clerical sexual abuse crisis. He addressed the crisis for the first time during a 2010 news conference aboard the papal plane during a flight to the United Kingdom. Tristezza anche che l'autorità della Chiesa non era sufficientemente vigilante e non sufficientemente veloce e decisa the importance of the victims of major concern, even in 2010. Prima interesse sono le vittime. Come possiamo riparare? Che cosa possiamo fare per aiutare queste persone a superare questo trauma, a ritrovare la vita, a ritrovare anche la fiducia nel messaggio di Cristo? John Allen notes Benedict's long-standing views on justice as it relates to accused priests. He felt that there was too much emphasis on the rights of accused priests, not enough emphasis on protecting the community from harm. Benedict admits he was motivated to write the essay after the February Summit on the Protection of Minors convened by Pope Francis. He sought the pontiff's permission before going public with his thoughts, a formality which underscores the deep respect both men share for each other. On Twitter and in the blogosphere, you know, people love to pit Francis and Benedict against one another. As, you know, Francis, the, the liberal champion of reform, Benedict, the traditionalist, stick in the mud. You know, the last two people on earth who buy that narrative are Francis and Benedict.